start the video gonna start it up right now cuz I'm a video star oh no hello this is AJ Charles the fairy godmother here doing my first little vlog video with Figaro hi Figaro I'm gonna edit that out. Um, but yes this is my first vlog video just gonna do a little recap of one of my latest days I want to start a little series where I just talk about um, some of the more problematic or funnier days where stuff could have gone a lot better um, if I were a smarter person, possibly. I mean, I, I know I'm smart, but um, yeah. So, yes, we're definitely going to talk about my latest day with uh, the Chihuahua and the little pit bull named Barrett and uh, Benji, respectively. It was just like a three day stay with me just staying at their house. I got there kind of late because um, I was busy looking after other dogs and stuff. This is the best way to play with her. I like to, you know, get settled into a place, you know, before I, you know, lock myself out and stuff. And got there around nine o'clock, they ate dinner, they went out to potty, I got my stuff inside. And then I went outside real quick to, to check something and then lock myself out. Just just couldn't get in just like wow, wow, wow. I couldn't get in but yeah I locked myself out and then um, proceeded to climb the fence to see if I could um, get in through the front door I couldn't that was just a UPS person package came for Amanda okay back to my story so yeah, went to the front door, it was locked, climbed back over the fence, um, proceeded to try and MacGyver my way into the house. I don't know why, I'm not skilled, I've not watched enough YouTube videos on how to break into houses and stuff. I mean, I've seen a couple, you know, Ocean's 11, um, Ocean 12 and 13, <laughs> and Ocean's 8, but I have not actually trained in the technical, you know, lock picking ways like i'm i didn't apprentice nowhere uh, i'm not that skilled but i tried regardless uh, to become the macgyver of uh, my generation and um i did not succeed and so i climbed back over the fence again and i got my jacket and my beanie because i was cold and then went to the neighbor's house to ask if they knew uh my client uh they uh, they did but they did not have any keys or or their number or a computer or a cell phone anything that would actually be useful for my situation but um no uh and they were very 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 old uh clocking at around 78 79 could barely hear me uh there was a lot of ha and a lot of yelling for no reason i don't know why but um yeah she was very insistent on trying to help me and insisted a lot that I break the front window to get inside. I, I didn't I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that at all. So I didn't do that. And I went across the way to see if the neighbor across the way knew of anybody. Nope. No, no, no dice. And so I finally convinced the, the neighbor to go back inside. She did. And I climbed back over the fence again. And then again tried to macgyver my way in as if i had talent like that and it did not work and then because i'm a sad sappy panda i started crying you know like you do when the, the shit gets real 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 fast so started crying was in the garage of my client's house trying to find some key or tool again a macgyver tool just so i can maneuver my way into the house or a special hidden key no none of those are available so started to uh, pray to my mom because uh, you know in that situations when things get hard you always pray to your your favorite parent um and my one and only parent is my mom and she passed away but she was nice enough to uh, to hear my pleas and i'm pretty sure it was like that scene and like you know 
um, Rocky Horror Picture Show where Frank the Predator is like running down the stairs. You know, just like, I got you, baby, don't worry. I'm gonna help you. I got you. And I was all like, okay. I didn't, I didn't get any response back until about 10 minutes later, me still trying to get into the house um, uh, using uh, glasses, tools, um, and uh, a long pointy stick. Um, it did not go as well as I hoped. It's like, so to just explain real quick, the door, how I lock myself out is, um, how the door works is when you, from the inside, it feels like it's unlocked. But if you go outside, it's locked. And if you don't turn it a certain way to make sure it's like unlocked from the outside and you don't check it, you end up locking yourself out, which is what I did. And it happens with the front door and the back door. If you try to go out and it feels like it's unlocked, check it, because it's probably not. And, um, and out of nowhere I hear, did you get inside yet? And I was like, no. And it was the senile old lady from next door who was very insistent on trying to help me. And again, tried to get me to break the window to get inside. She was she was so nice, um, but I was just like, she was so loud and I was just like, hey, keep it down. I'm a black lady, please, please. I'm a black queer lady. Like me trying to break into this house right now, I ain't got no identification, I ain't got no phone. Please don't get me, you know, shot up real quick because you know it is america um uh, this is america i can't i can't go to jail i'm too pretty for jail am i too pretty for jail i look like this all the time i look like i'm 19. i get carded by everything they won't let me buy anything rated r movies that nah. i can't buy medicine i can't buy lighters lottery tickets nothing they don't trust me so mm -mm, i cannot go to a jail so yeah, I'm trying to tell her to keep it down, but she ain't listening. So we, um, she's like, I'm gonna go get you a hammer so you can break the window. And I'm like, no, don't do that. She like skitters away anyway. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, mom, what the fuck? Why would you do this to me now? Why would you pick her? And she's like, I don't know what you want from me. She was the only one I was listening. And I was like, okay, yeah, you want, you right, you right. I understand, but um, why? Mm, okay, whatever. And so, yeah, she gets me a hammer. I try to break the window. It don't work because I'm I don't want to break it. And I start crying. And then she's like, "Stop crying. Stop telling me to go inside. You know, I'm trying to help you." And I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> she's like, "Come over here. I'm gonna call a locksmith. She called a dozen different locksmiths. It's like 11 o'clock at night. She finally gets one to come over. Uh, the whole time, uh, <laughs> she misgenders him because she thinks it's a dude. It's a very soft-spoken Hawaiian man. Um, who uh did god's work on both the back door got it open but then locked himself out because the door's stupid um and man he managed to get the um front door unlocked which was great i was so happy about that and oh my gosh the relief i felt the man set it up to like they gave me a call and i had to pay for myself so it was she didn't have to pay for anything which was very nice um but i could tell she was very very lonely because um the next day she was very insistent on me coming over and getting some food that she had made, eggplant parmesan, which is still in the fridge, I haven't eaten yet. And uh, when I went over there, um, I, like, for a pet sitter, this is like, oh my gosh. Like I went over there and like I went, I, stu I stood on one of her like rugs because I thought it was like fake. But um, no, it was a real like boar's like skin yeah it was real and then like i looked up and there's a zebra skin and more animals i'm just like oh my god this is the scene from like ace ventura i wonder if i can cut that in because that would be hilarious because it was it was just like that i'm just like oh, oh what is that real oh my god that's real <laughs> that's real oh my god but yeah it, that was my experience doing this day and hanging out with a little boy who is very much uh, a needy little baby. And I definitely want one. I want a chihuahua, I don't care. I'm gonna carry around a little Bajoran, a little backpack. They're like, this is my baby. <laughs> don't touch, he bites. <laughs> do you want some ice cream? Do, 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 do. I don't give a fuck. I do, I do actually. I would not give a dog ice cream because it's not good for them. But um, yeah. That was my story. Thanks for watching my first vlog. Please subscribe. Um, share this if you want. Um, but yeah. Thank you. If you have any comments or concerns, let me know in the comments. Or message me? I don't know.
But thank you for watching. Oh, Granted! <laughs> 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 <laughs>